How do you revise a narrative reading response to literature so it is ready to publish? In this lesson, you will learn how to revise a narrative reading response by rereading and asking yourself, what details can I add to make my story stronger and are there any details I can remove? Remember, this prompt, what do you think the fox was doing after he walked away chuckling, is in response to the text, why the bear has a short tail. Here is our chart of the writing process. We have been revising our writing to make it flow smoother and help the reader visualize what is happening. Today, we are going to put all of our ideas together and revise it one more time to make sure it sounds exactly how we want it to before we publish our draft. Remember, details are the words in a text or your writing that explain ideas. We want to make sure that our new scene has enough details to explain all of our ideas. We also want to make sure that we don't have any extra details that don't make sense or would confuse the reader. After reading our new scene today, we want the reader to be able to have a clear picture and understanding of what is happening. In order to learn how to revise a narrative response to get it ready to publish, you can follow these four steps. First, reread your rough draft. Then ask yourself, is the story in the correct order? Third, ask yourself, are there any details or punctuation I could add or remove to make my story better? Finally, rewrite your story, including all of the new details and punctuation. Here is our rough draft. We're going to start with steps one, two, and three. Let's just look at the beginning of our writing to follow these three steps. First, we'll reread our rough draft. Then we'll ask ourselves, is this part of the story in the correct order? Then we'll ask, are there any details or punctuation I could add or remove to make this part of the story better? The fox walked through the big cold forest until he came to a tall dry tree with a nest at the bottom. He could see the bear still sitting with his tail in the icy hole. Then the fox realized he had the fish he caught that morning. I'm now going to ask myself, is the story in the correct order? Yes, this makes sense because first the fox walks in the forest, then he sees the bear, then he realizes he has his fish, so he is getting ready to eat. Step three is to ask ourselves, are there any details or punctuation I could add or remove to make my story better? This is when I really want to think about how can I help the reader understand what's happening? What words could make my story even better? I notice the second sentence says, he could see the bear still sitting with his tail in the icy hole. I think I could make this part clearer for the reader by adding some words to help the reader understand where the bear is. I'm going to add that the bear peeked through the trees. This helps the reader picture that the fox is far away from the bear, even though he can still see him. When I read the last sentence, then the fox realized he had the fish he caught. I think that it would sound better if the reader paused after the word then, so I'm going to add a comma here. Then I'm going to add the word still to show that he had the fish he had caught since the morning. Now that I've completed these steps for the beginning of my story, I would go back and complete steps one through three for the middle and the ending. Here is the middle and the ending. When I ask myself, is it in the correct order? I think, yes, the order is correct and makes sense. After I reread it, I notice there are more details and punctuation that I can add to help the reader picture what is happening and make my story sound even better. Here are some of the words and punctuation that I'm going to add into my rough draft. Now we are ready to complete step four, which is to rewrite your rough draft, including all of the new details and punctuation. I rewrote my rough draft here. The new details and punctuation that I added are in red. We just finished revising our new scene of why the bear has a short tail. Now our story sounds really smooth and has better details to help the reader understand what is happening. We are now ready to edit and publish our reading response. In order to revise your rough draft so it is ready to publish, you can follow these four steps. 
First, reread your rough draft. Then ask yourself, is the story in the correct order? Third, ask yourself, what other details or punctuation can I add or remove to make the story better? Finally, rewrite your story, including the new details and punctuation. In this lesson, you have learned how to revise a narrative reading response by rereading and asking yourself, what details can I add to make my story stronger, and are there any details I can remove?